Um, and a uh, couple interesting things. Max speed on my iPhone, uh, which uses the app, which uses the gauges, I believe, um, I assume. Um, the max speed was 121 here. And on my GPS, which is actually correct and accurate, more speed, 125 mile an hour. That's in about 2,400 feet. That's from this spot here down to my beach. So from this beach to my beach is exactly 2,400 feet, um, 125 mile an hour. So, and that's on the 270 um, horsepower map. On the uh, 240 horsepower map, in the same distance, I ran 117 on the GPS. Um, so, big difference between 240 and 270. The other thing is, too, is I pulled off my, uh, as soon as I got back, after two, two uh, wide open runs back to back, I pulled my side panel off, just like I am now, and um, I put my hand right on that secondary. And while it's, you know, it's definitely warm, I mean, those are some serious speeds back to back, it's definitely not hot. Primary's a little warmer. Um, and uh, that's with all the new setup. That's the uh, Dalton DTYA ones. I've got them set to uh, 77 and a half grams. And on the 240 map, I just ran 8,800 RPM, maybe 88.50. And on the 270 map, I was tapping around 91, I believe, 91.50-ish. Um, so, you know, if I'm gonna run the 270 map all the time, I would add a little more weight. But um, I kind of like it there because I'll probably generally run the 240 map on the trail and uh, the 270 map, um, then when I put that in, it's super snappy in the bottom. Um, but I could add a little more weight. What I got in here is I got a half inch slug in the tip and I got a quarter inch slug flush to the heel there, as you can see. Um, these are the new rollers uh, that I just put in from Lon. And we'll see how those hold up. And this is the brand new Barna Parts uh, belt adjuster along with 39 35 Dalton Helix, so it's a progressive Helix. It's, it's not a reverse angle Helix anymore. Um, I'm still waiting on some uh, rollers from uh, High Torque. I'm gonna swap these out for the High Torque rollers. And that's the 8JP belt, as you can see. Um, well, it didn't blow. You know, I only ran it twice uh, up and down the lake. Well, I ran it uh, six times total, but I taped it twice as far as recording it. Um, so we'll see how that uh, holds up, um, but it definitely runs nice and cool with that set at 6.1. Um, as you can see, I'm at 6.1. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and uh, that's where Dale likes that, that uh, helix and that spring, or sorry, that spring set at. That's the, uh, the Dalton black orange in the secondary. Um, I think I covered everything there. Um, I did put those O-rings in there to see if that would quiet down these bolts. See these bolts, they don't move anymore, but ironically, it still seems pretty loud to me. So it might be a little quieter, but it still seems pretty loud. So, uh, so I don't know if those stupid O-rings did, did the damn thing for quieting it down. Um, but pretty happy with that as far as, uh, results. Um, power-wise, speed-wise, I mean, that's, that's just a short run. I mean, imagine this thing, if I hold it a little longer, this thing will probably definitely tap, tap 125, 126, 127, I, I would think. Um, what did I say that was? Yeah, 125, that's GPS too, so that's that's the real deal. Um, so uh, I'm liking the results there. And uh, I will say that that SE window not only does it look nice, but it's really nice for radaring because it throws the wind just high enough over your head so you don't have to get in some crazy uh, crouch position. So um, the other nice thing is too, is you can get at the key real good and you got all kinds of room for your window bag. I mean, 
the other one was smushing my bag right down. This has got all kinds of room in here, so I'm liking that deal. Okay, so that's that. A little bit of a first test on the Hurricane 240, 270, and also the 290 map, but I have not tried the 290 map, and I think I'm going to hold off on that. I hit a little bit of, uh, I got a little quick knock light, knock protection on the 270 map after about 2,400, uh, probably about 2,200 feet. I got a little blip of the light, so I backed right out of it because um, this gas has been in there for a few weeks now. We haven't been riding a lot, and it's probably a little bit questionable. Um, so I didn't want to hold that any longer. Okay, freaking love this thing. It's, it, it's sick. Like the difference between stock and this now is sick. The 240 is pretty crazy, but the 270 brings all that snap down in the bottom and it is snappy. It's just, it, it, it's a blast. Rocker Dan here, Mary Lake, Ontario.